part of the morning routine is to clean up this room, right? I always start with putting up the things you just saw me put up, some toys, and then I clean out the boxes. The dark box, that's a new box. That's a new for us. We've had it for a couple years, but it's a Little Robot 3. The tan one, I think, is a Little Robot 2. They don't make it anymore. And that's the box right there that we're having trouble with. I don't know what's wrong. It's not the motor. It's different things that happen all the time. Right now, it's saying that it's got a full pan, but it's not full. There's not going to be nothing in there. Other times, it will just jam up and flash yellow like a cat jumped in there, but there won't be a cat in there. And you'll go through all the things and it still won't work, but if you unplug it for a day, then it resets itself. So there's some kind of computer thing with a static charge that won't let it work right. That's my guess, but I don't know. I just know that I'm getting frustrated every day, every day, every day, every day. I gotta work on that stupid machine and it's frustrating. I'll come in here, that machine will be working, but it will be full because the other machine jammed up during the night and so the cats couldn't use it. I came in here one morning and both machines were jammed. Okay, so at Litter Robot, you know, you're supposed to have like three cats per machine. And we, for a long time, we had 14 cats and one machine and it just caused a lot of wear on the machine. Had to get rid of it. And so now we have, we've got two machines 11 cats the math still don't work we should have three machines or four machines for that number of animals four is kind of a lot but if we had three machines if one of them broke they'd still have places to go and i wouldn't have to worry about it but as, i can't afford that so if any of y'all out there can help us the links are below and here's here's the machines you can watch me I use these, come in here, clean out this tray. These wear boxes are such an improvement over the old kind. We want you to buy them on the the bags. You can use these real cheap bags. for you to clean it. You don't have to sit there and scoop. Well, in theory, it's great, except for when the machine breaks. Then you're constantly dealing with digging through cat stuff. Not fun. So we'll change this out. See, it's not, <laughs> they say it's full. I don't know if that's showing on camera. Yeah, it's not full. It's not full at all. So we're gonna set this back in here. Hit the reset button. And I don't know if you can see that. The blue light on the base down there. It stopped flashing when I reset. Now we'll look inside of this. And it's going to turn. And then it'll say it's full again, probably. So let's see, there it goes. It says it's full again. See how it's blinking blue? I just showed you, it ain't full. Clean the sensor. It's just messed up. And when it thinks it's full, it does not cycle. So, 
but let's change it. Prove it, it's not full. Nothing's picking up. Let's get this out of here. Take this whole thing apart like I always have to do. It'll work for a day, and then by tomorrow it'll be back doing this. It's very frustrating. It's not new on TV, it's too old. I'm gonna turn it off because I'm taking it apart. So take out the towel. off. You can see there's a little bit of litter stuck down in here. Rue's mom, call her mama girl, mama cat. She kicks up litter bad. All this that's on the floor here, that's from her. Stops the machine. Usually that's what's messed up. Not the door full of the key. So get a piece of paper towel inside here. There's two pieces of plastic. We cover the sensor. It's a little infrared sensor. It shoots a little laser across there. So it blocks it and says it's full. There's nothing blocking it. The plastic's clean. So let's put it back together and see what happens now. Okay. These things work, they're great, but when they don't work, it's very frustrating. Okay, so it's already flashing that it's full. You just saw, <laughs> there's nothing. Okay, so it's just messed up. You get reset and then now it wants to clean it. Then it's gonna go back and say it's full of you. What am I supposed to do? I, I'm just gonna have to turn it off and wait till it's time and I'll manually do it. The thing's broke, it's so messed up. Wow. Okay, so the boxes are clean. We just got that mess there for Mama Girl on the floor. We got that going. You see the box working. We don't need to watch it again. So the last thing is this. Now I sweep up the floor so it doesn't jam up the air filter in this. That's our Roomba. And uh, it does a good job of cleaning the cat room. It gets all the litter up, all the little fur. It does a good job. Start. There it goes. It's just gonna clean the room. So a little cleaning, buddy.
gotta move this because I know that thing's gonna come and hit this. There we go. Sorry about the the jitter camera. So let that run. We'll fast forward to this and we'll not to bore you too much. That's cleaning the cat room right there. It'd be a lot smoother if this box worked. Oh, yeah. They're all asleep right now. I mean, they have breakfast. 
turn this off because it's messed up already. Alright, so that's the morning cleaning of the cat room. Thanks for watching. Say hi, Abby. Abby girl. Okay, check you later. Thanks for watching.